65 million years ago, an asteroid hit the Earth. The impact was enough to trigger the KT extinction, destroying about 75% of life on Earth. Probably the best-known mass extinction event took out all the dinosaurs on Earth. This was the fifth mass extinction event, called the Cretaceous-Tertiary Mass Extinction, or KT Extinction for short. Although the Permian Mass Extinction, also known as the Great Dying, was much larger in the number of species that went extinct, the KT Extinction is the one most people remember because of public fascination with dinosaurs. Many people know that land dinosaurs were casualties of this major mass extinction event, but numerous other species of birds, mammals, fish, pterosaurs, and plesiosaurs, among other groups of animals, also went extinct. The impacts weren't directly responsible for the extinction of three-quarters of the Earth's species, but their residual effects were devastating. Perhaps the biggest issue caused by the asteroids hitting Earth is termed impact winter. The extreme size of the space debris vaulted ash, dust, and other matter into the atmosphere, essentially blocking out the sun for long periods of time. Plants were no longer able to undergo photosynthesis, so they began to die off, leaving animals with no food, so they starved to death. It's also thought that oxygen levels declined due to the lack of photosynthesis. The disappearance of food and oxygen affected the largest animals, including land dinosaurs, the most. Smaller animals could store food and needed less oxygen, they survived and thrived once the danger passed. Experts estimate that this asteroid was over 7 miles wide. The dinosaurs weren't able to see it coming, but thanks to modern technology, the human race can be better prepared. A team of experts from NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office is working diligently to find and characterize space objects like asteroids that travel near Earth's orbit. They're also working to develop and test novel planetary defense strategies, starting with the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, also known as DART. If you're still wondering exactly what is an asteroid, you're not alone. Lots of people are confused by the difference between asteroid and meteor. It primarily has to do with the size of the space rock and how close it gets to Earth. Let's start with meteoroids, it is a small rocks that orbit the Sun. When a small meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it burns up, vaporizes, and becomes a meteor, which is also referred as a shooting star. But if a larger meteoroid enters our atmosphere and survives the burn, the remaining rock that lands on the surface is called a meteorite. An asteroid is a small, rocky world that isn't big enough to be considered a planet. It's basically the leftover ingredients of our solar system. Instead of coming together to form planets, these ingredients knocked into each other, broke apart, and now orbit the Sun. What are asteroids made of? While some asteroids contain metals like iron and nickel, most are primarily composed of rock and ice. In fact, some scientists even believe that Earth's water may have come from asteroid impacts that occurred billions of years ago. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. Most asteroids in our solar system, millions of them quietly orbit the Sun in the asteroid belt, which is nestled quietly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Although that's hundreds of millions of miles away from Earth, we aren't exactly safe from another asteroid impact. When an asteroid is headed for Earth or in the neighborhood, NASA classifies it as a potentially hazardous asteroid. So far, 52 potentially hazardous asteroids have been identified. NASA estimates that a vehicle-sized asteroid explodes in our atmosphere about once every year. We don't detect many of these because the explosion occurs extremely high in the atmosphere or over a body of water. However, some space rocks have caused global devastation, evidenced by extinctions and massive impact craters. About 2 billion years ago, the world's largest impact structure was created when an asteroid hit South Africa. The Vredefort crater has a radius of 118 miles. An asteroid also created Canada's 81-mile diameter Sudbury Basin. In 2013, a meteor exploded 20 miles above Chelyabinsk, Russia, injuring over 1,200 people. And then there's Australia's 580 million year old Akraman crater with a 56 mile diameter. The list goes on with Chicxulub crater, which is responsible for the dinosaur extinction and much of the Gulf of Mexico's formation. 
The most recent major impact formed the Chesapeake Bay Crater about 35 million years ago in Virginia. In 2013, a small meteor exploded with 20 to 30 times the energy of an atom bomb in the atmosphere. It happened about 20 miles above Chelyabinsk, Russia. The explosion's shockwave shattered windows, knocked down parts of buildings, and sent over 1,200 people to the hospital, mostly with injuries from flying glass. Our close call with an asteroid headed for Earth. In July of 2019, an undetected asteroid almost hit Earth. Asteroid named 2019 OK whizzed at an uncomfortable distance of 45,000 miles, which is less than one-fifth the distance from Earth to the Moon. With its estimated 57 to 130 meter diameter, that asteroid could have done major damage, as the asteroid that exploded above Chelyabinsk measured about 20 meters. So, although the risk of a significant asteroid impact is small, it certainly isn't impossible. An asteroid capable of creating a global disaster with its initial impact, shock wave, and the subsequent nuclear winter, caused by dust in the atmosphere, would have to be about a quarter of a mile wide. While this type of event would cause widespread devastation, it likely wouldn't be enough to completely destroy life on Earth. NASA officially stated that the risk of a large asteroid headed for Earth was a small risk with major consequences. Rather than make preparations for withstanding the fallout from such an impact, NASA plans to prevent an impact from ever happening in the first place. They've released a near-Earth object preparedness plan, which outlines the steps that need to be taken in order to prevent this type of catastrophe from befalling the planet and the human race. Rather than make preparations for the aftermath of an impact, NASA plans to prevent an impact from ever happening. Part of this plan is the DART mission, which aims to travel to the asteroid Didymos in 2021 to demonstrate the technology that could be used to redirect the path of an asteroid headed for Earth. Before DART, the only asteroid deterring tool which was considered was a nuclear device. The primary problem with blowing up an asteroid headed for Earth is that it won't necessarily change its direction or save the planet. It'll simply transform one large asteroid into several pieces that are still traveling in our direction. With the data gained from the DART mission, scientists will be able to detect asteroids and track their orbits. DART is the first mission to test a potential method of deflecting an asteroid on course to hit Earth. Launching in 2021 and arriving at asteroid Didymos in 2022, it will intentionally crash into the asteroid's small moon, which is known as Didymoon. The crash should change Didymoon's orbital period by 4.2 minutes, a large enough change to measure from Earth-based telescopes. Such a change would show that if we spot a potentially hazardous asteroid in time, a DART-like impact could change its course enough to miss Earth. DART's primary objective is to demonstrate the effects of crashing an impactor spacecraft into an asteroid. The mission is intended to test whether a spacecraft impact could successfully deflect an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. A demonstration of an asteroid deflection is a key test that NASA and other agencies wish to perform before the actual need of planetary protection is present. DART is NASA's contribution to the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment Mission, a NASA and European Space Agency collaboration. After DART's impact, in 2025, the European Space Agency would send a follow-up spacecraft called HERA to Didymos to observe the crater DART created. With the data gained from the DART mission, scientists will be able to detect asteroids and then track their orbits with Earth's orbit. If a hazardous asteroid is detected, we can launch a spacecraft to change its speed. While the reasons for some NASA missions might be tough for the general public to truly understand, DART's objective is to eliminate the threat of an asteroid hitting the Earth so we can all sleep better at night. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel 